Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my six favorite nude lipsticks. If you guys want to find out what they are, then keep on watching. So I'm going to start out with drugstore first. My favorite nude from the drugstore is called Nude Lust and this is by Maybelline and it's a gorgeous nude. It's more on the peachy side but it is such a pretty nude. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous nude. I cannot wear this alone. I do have to line my lips with this, but seriously, you guys, it is so pretty and so cheap. You need this in your life. Now, my next favorite nude is Soft Nude by Revlon. You can tell how much I love it because I am almost out of it. I seriously, absolutely love this color. It's more of a lighter nude than that other one, but it's seriously so gorgeous. I love layering this on top of any kind of like darker lipstick or even like a darker nude. Um, Velvet Teddy by MAC and this just right in the center it makes your lips look huge. So um, if you need like a layering lipstick and like a nude lipstick, this is such a perfect lipstick. And this is again um, Revlon Soft Nude. Now, this is more higher end but completely worth the price. This is my all time favorite pinky nude. It is Hue by MAC. You guys have seen this I'm sure so many times. Um, I wear this when I'm just not sure about what I want to wear. It's a glossy finish. I think, what is this? It's a satin. But it is so gorgeous. It looks so gorgeous on everybody. Um, I think I wore this actually in my wedding. And I just love the pictures. And it just gives you that perfect pout. And it goes with any kind of eye that you are putting on your eyes. I just absolutely love this color. If you're going to get one color from MAC and it's a nude, get Hue. Next, this is more of like a true kind of brownie, peachy, cooler side nude, if that makes sense. It's definitely like a darker nude, more than these pink ones. This is more peach, definitely. And this is Galactic's Naked, and that's this one right here. And it is so gorgeous also. It's definitely darker of a nude, but with um, Estee Lauder's lip liner in Nude 18, this lipstick looks so, so pretty. It's like my favorite. I love it. Um, if you're in the market for a good nude, then that Galactic Naked is just gorgeous. Especially, the only thing is though about those lipsticks is you cannot get them at your store. You have to order them online. So make sure that you really kind of do your research and you really like the nudes. But this one is just such a pretty, pretty nude. I wear it all the time. Lisa Lisa D wear, also wears this one all the time. And they smell so good. I love wearing this color because it does last all day also. This next one from NARS is part of their Audacious, 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 right? Audacious. Audacious lipsticks, and this one is so pretty. Oh, I love this color. It's called Raquel. It isn't like any of the other ones. It's more, I don't know, it's just that perfect nude. It's pinky, but still brownie nude, but peachy has all those colors into one. It is definitely a gorgeous, gorgeous lipstick. And these lipsticks seriously last all day. They're so creamy and moisturizing. I absolutely love these. I also have a dark, darker brick red in this one called Charlotte, I believe it's called. But I want to get more of these. Unfortunately, at my Sephora, we don't carry the one that I really, really want. I think only Saks Avenue carries this other one that I want. It's called like Victoria or something. I don't know. It's a really unique color, but I'm getting off topic. Um, anyways, these lipsticks are amazing. I love the formula. It has a little NARS indention right there. I don't know if you can see that, 
but I love, love, love these NARS lipsticks. I actually like these ones better than the regular NARS lipsticks. The only other NARS lipsticks that I actually do like are um, the matte lip pencils and the satin lip pencils. I'm really not a huge fan of um, any of the other like older line of NARS. Now for my last lipstick, I absolutely love these lipsticks by Charlotte Tilsbury. This is such a pretty nude. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites. It's right there. It is so, so pretty, um, especially with her lip liners. Oh, I love her lipsticks. I think they're better, honestly, than Max lipsticks and this is probably my favorite formula of lipsticks. This one's in Kate Nude. You can only order these off Nordstrom um, and Beautylish, I, I believe. But I ordered mine off Beautylish, I think, before they even went on to Nordstrom. But oh my goodness, that color is just so pretty. I love it. Especially like when I'm doing like a dark, like black smoky eye or just eyeliner um, with like a neutral eye I think that looks the best just because it's more of that um like 90s kind of nude I guess like that Pammy nude but I just I really 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 do love these formulas of the Charlotte Tilbury li lipstick and this one is in Nude Kate. I knew I couldn't forget my obsession with nude lip liner and so let's get started on my favorite collection of nude lip liners. Okay, so my first is gonna be the Charlotte Tilbury, and this is called Lip Cheat in, it does not say the name of it on there. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to go look, look it up. I think it's just called Iconic Nude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just called Iconic Nude. But it is such a pretty nude. I love it. It's like the perfect nude. And these do not leave like that weird kind of line on the outside of your lips. These stay on for life. Like seriously. And then my next one. Oh my gosh you guys. This is what I have on now. This lip liner. I am completely obsessed with this color. It is the Ideal from Lancome. It is so gorgeous. It's more of like that spicy color. It looks like MAC Spice, but I honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the MAC um, lip liners. They bleed on me really bad and they look, they make me look kind of crazy. Um, I do overline my lips, so I have to be really careful on the lip liners I use. I like ones that stay put and that aren't gonna be on my forehead. Um, I love, love, love the Lancome liners. And then next, of course, is Plumberry by Laura Mercier. This is more of a pinky nude, but definitely still in that nude family. It's kind of your lips but better kind of liner. I really, really love it. I really do like the Laura Mercier lip liners also. The formula is fantastic. Okay, next, um, this is more on the cheaper side of things. This is the Milani in Nude 03. And this one is so easy to wear. It is absolutely so easy to wear. Just for like an everyday kind of going nowhere kind of look. It's so pretty and I bet a lot of people can pull this color off. Nude is... The one I wore most this year, it is 3C by Makeup Forever. It is kind of similar to the first one I showed, which was the Charlotte Tilbury, but it's so gorgeous. It's this one right here. Oh, I love it. It goes with every single, single color. This is just like, you can see how much I've used. I've probably gone through like three of these. It's definitely my most worn liner. It's flawless. I, since I have tried other liners, I have kind of steered away from the Makeup Forever liners. Um, I just feel like the, this one and the next one I'm going to show you just wear a little bit better on me. 
but I do still love that liner. It's definitely a go-to liner for me. Next is probably one of my favorites. It's the Double Wear by Estee Lauder in Nude. Let's see. It is actually lighter than all the rest of them, but it is so gorgeous. It stays on all day. It's probably one of my favorite formulas. This one and the Lancome liner are definitely one of my favorites. I don't know, they're all my favorites though, so I can't really pick and choose. I love you all. <laughs> I do, I love them all. Um, that's what I'm showing you guys. But I do love the formula. I don't know, I really like the formula of the Charlotte Tilbury too. See, when I look at all of them in my hand, I'm like, oh, I can't pick between you all. But I mean, I really do love the formula of this one. Okay. I can't pick my favorite. I love them all. You need the, all of these. All of these. Now for lip gloss, I'm, I used to wear lip gloss all the time, but as the weather's changed and it's so windy where I live, I don't tend to wear lip gloss that much. But the two that I do wear all the time is Celeste by Buxom, which is this gorgeous color that really looks good over everything. It really is such a gorgeous gloss. I love these buxom ones. Um, I have like four other ones, but this is the one I tend to wear a lot, like a lot of the time. Mainly when you guys ask me what gloss I have on, this is probably it. Or my probably absolute favorite gloss. This is really old. It's such a cult classic and holy grail gloss. It is Turkish Delight by NARS. It, is so pretty it's just a baby pink but honestly it looks so good on everybody and I put this on all my clients especially for their wedding and I wear this all the time like seriously I wear it I'll put it over any color except like red or something but I just absolutely love this gloss it li livens up every lip it makes your lips so glossy and so pretty the formula is fantastic I just absolutely love these NARS lip glosses and the Turkish Delight takes the cake. All right, you guys, that was the finished video. I hope you guys loved it. I loved creating it for you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please leave me some recommendations of what you guys want to see. And I will see you guys later. Bye.